This Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the holy sacrifice of the Mass the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time with a theme, Choices That Matter. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Sanctuary Chapel of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez, Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Bell San Luis SVD, Executive Producer of Family TV Mass. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, uh, I welcome you all to uh, our new uh, uh, chapel, the Sanctuary of the Divine Word. So uh, from uh, now on, we will hold our uh, Mass, the Family TV Mass, here in uh, this uh, chapel of the Sanctuary of the Divine Word. So um, let me greet you also, um, pleasant uh, morning. Remember that every morning is always a blessing from the Lord. So batiin natin ang ating mga katabi at sabihin natin, good morning. And uh, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we are still uh, alive and healthy. Good morning, everybody. Morning, morning. <clears throat> now, dear brothers and sisters, um, coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. <laughs> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. 
God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Having spoken the truth, out of duty caused the prophet Jeremiah the loss of popularity. It nearly cost him his life, but God takes care of those who serve him faithfully, as we learn from today's first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princess said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in this city and all the people by speaking such things to them. And he is not interested in the welfare of our people, but in their rule. King Zedekiah answered, He is in your power. For the king could do nothing with them. And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Prince Malchiah, which was in the quarters of the guard, letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud. And Jeremiah sunk into the mud. Ebed Melech, a court official, went there from the palace and said to him, my Lord King, these men have been at fault in all they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern. He will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered Ibn Melech, the Cushite, to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, come to my aid. Lord, come to my aid. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stood toward me. Lord, Lord come, come to, to my, my aid. aid. The Lord heard my cry. He drove me out of the pit of the destruction, out of the mud of the swamp. He set my feet upon a crag. He made firm my steps. Lord, come to my aid. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and trust in the Lord. Lord, come to my aid. Though I am afflicted and poor, yet the Lord thinks of me. 
You are my help and my deliverer. O my God, hold not back. Lord, come to my aid. Jesus fulfilled his mission to the end, even if that entailed the shame of dying on the cross. His example should be our inspiration, especially when the fulfillment of our duty demands some big sacrifice. God will surely reward our faithfulness. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his set at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather a division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> in the gospel today, our Lord uh, says, I came not to bring peace, but division. A division among members of the family and father against son, son against uh, uh, father, mother against daughter, and uh, mother-in-law against uh, uh, daughter-in-law and father-in-law against uh, father, uh, son. Now, it is very puzzling. Would you, um, um, would you hindi natin malaman ito na totoo, although our Lord is the Son of God. But uh, um, it says, uh, 
that, uh, and had been always preaching that I came to live peace and to give peace. So he was always emphasizing this when he was uh, still uh, with us. But ngayon po ay sinasabi niya, I came not to bring peace but division. Is it contradictory? Bakit ka dito? Uh, uh, iba yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. What does our Lord Jesus Christ mean by this? Well, our Lord is saying that we must not compromise with evil, that we must not uh, give in uh, to what's wrong and what is evil. Even if you have to go against uh, your household or against your family members, uh, if what uh, they are thinking or doing is for uh, evil and not to compromise with uh, uh, sin. Now, I would like to illustrate this with a story uh, that uh, happened uh, in the 15th century. It is about um, the um, chancellor of uh, the king of uh, England. Uh, the name of this chancellor is uh, Thomas More. Alam po ninyo si Moore ay uh, isang abogado and he was the right-hand man of uh, the uh, king. Now, <clears throat> uh, this uh, king, Henry VIII, um, wanted to marry um, another woman uh, by the name of Catherine. The wife of uh, Henry VIII uh, was uh, Anne Boleyn. But the uh, chancellor, uh, Thomas More, told him that it was against the law of God that would be adultery if you are going to change your wife, uh, Anne Boleyn, to this uh, Catherine. And so um, <clears throat> um, he told that to the king. And uh, the king didn't like what this uh, uh, Lord Chancellor uh, said to him. And so he imprisoned this uh, Thomas More in uh, the dungeon of uh, the Tower of uh, England. And um, when the uh, wife and the children came to visit him, they said, uh, oh, Father, uh, said, um, uh, uh, please uh, just yield in, give in to what the, uh, the king is trying to do um, because he's angry with you and this will be, uh, this might cost you your death because you are disobeying him. But he did not, he stuck to his own uh, word, decision. And so, you know, the king was very angry and uh, he um, told uh, the soldiers to execute him at the Tower of London. And you know what he said before uh, he was uh, beheaded? He said, I die the king's good servant, but God first. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, dito natin makikita yung heroism ni uh, St. Thomas More that uh, he did not give in even if his family was telling him already that he should already uh, give in to the, uh, to the wish of the king. So ito po ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon na uh, huwag tayong magpapadala no, sa ating, uh, sa ating uh, utos, 
ng ating Panginoon, katulad nitong kay sinabi ni Thomas More. Now, it is not easy, dear brothers and sisters, to be heroic sometimes because really yeah, it is uh, being uh, yung uh, we uh, try to give uh, our life even. Kung halimbawa, they tell you to do something that is wrong and maybe it means, uh, for example, a lot of uh, money by, uh, uh, by bribing you, sometimes it is very difficult. Maalala ko po yung kwento tungkol sa isang um, balikbayan na umuwi dito sa ating bansa. At uh, alam niyo po, dala-dala niya yung uh, uh, napaka-cute uh, na aso. Pero nung nandito na siya sa Pilipinas, ay dahil mainit, ay namatay po yung aso. Ngayon ang ginawa na itong uh, um, balikbayan ay pumunta sa kanyang uh, parokya at sinabi doon sa kanyang ora paro ko, uh, sabi niya, Father, alam niyo ko, gusto ko sanang mabigyan ng funeral, uh, funeral mass itong aking aso. At uh, um, uh, kawawa naman, sabi niya. Then sabi po nung, sabi po nung uh, parish priest, ano, sabi niya, aso? Ito ay magmimisa tayo para dyan sa aso mo. Ah, hindi pwede yan. Labag sa, uh, 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 labag sa batas ng ating simbahan. Nonsense, sabi niya. No? Eh, fathers, sabi niya, kasi po yung asong yan ay naglaan ako ng uh, uh, pera, $1,000 uh, para dito po sa aso ko. Pero sabi niya, kung ayaw po ninyo, ay pupunta na lamang ako dyan sa kapit uh, bahay na may uh, lapit ng simbahan. At uh, dito sa simbahan na yon ay protestante. So nung paalis na po siya, ba inisip nung pare, eh sabi niya, 1,000 US dollars. So, ba, malaking pera yan. At minultiply pa niya ba uh, pa na ngayon, no, 50, uh, 53, uh, Uh, 53 pesos against one dollar. Kaya sabi niya, that's more than uh, 50,000 pesos. No? Kaya nung paalis na yung, uh, paalis na yung balikbayan, hinabol po nung pare, sabi niya, ay ma'am, sabi niya, bakit ka pupunta dyan sa protestanteng simbahan? Hindi mo ba alam yung aso mo, katoliko? Sabi niya, dalhin mo dito at imimisayan ko. So what our Lord is telling us is, that one, we should not give in or yield to do what's wrong or to do what's evil. And maybe I would like to add that we should also uh, train or uh, uh, tell your children to do the same that to avoid evil, to avoid wrongdoing. And then the second is that we should report uh, certain um, anomalies that are happening. Maybe if you're afraid, you can go to the uh, uh, employer or the boss uh, in the office and uh, Um, if again you are also afraid, then we can, you can pray, pray that God will do something to these people who are doing evil and who are making uh, wrongdoings in their community, in their, uh, in their, um, their offices and in uh, wherever they are. So our Lord said, my dear brothers and sisters, that we should correct what is wrong and 
it is better even if some people disagree with us in order to do what is right. So, as somebody said, the only way by which evil can thrive in society is for the good to do nothing. And our Lord said, to conclude, I came not to give, bring peace, but division. I came that despite the, uh, um, the people who are against me, I would rather have peace, I'd rather have to go against evil and wrongdoings in our society, in our offices, in our schools, and in any place where there is uh, uh, transactions. This we pray, therefore, uh, for our, our lesson of the day, peace, but not division. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As disciples of the Lord, we are committed to seek all that is true, honest, or worthy of praise, aware of the many difficulties we may encounter in this area, let us ask the Lord's help as we pray. Let the response be, Lord, help us follow you. Lord, help us to follow you. That the church may never be afraid to proclaim and defend the truth of the gospel, even to the coast of losing friends and privileges, we pray. Lord, help us follow you. That the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all other spiritual leaders may succeed in their efforts to uphold what is true, fair, and right, we pray. Lord, Lord help, help us follow you. That all parents, teachers, and media people may instill in the children and youth and sincere love for the values of, of the kingdom preached by Christ, we pray. Lord, help us follow you. That our youth may commit themselves to follow the teaching of the church without being swayed away by many pagan lifestyles they see in our society, we pray. Lord, Lord help, help us follow you. That all the members of our community may never choose what is against in the gospel values, even when it looks fashionable and convenient, we pray. Lord, Lord, help, help us, us follow, follow you. For the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Akawili, 
Liwayway Mascarado, Mascardo, Maria Cristina Samano, Grace Aquino, Claire Isguera, Rosita Sudario, Andrico and Nets Pablo, Nemesio Alvarez, Birthday Thanksgiving Ron Ili Vicentino, Father J. De Leon, SBD, Eloisa Poa, Healing Prayer for Francisco Ong and Pat Patricia Loretta, Death Anniversary, anniversary Prayer for Ruth Cabato, Norma M. Guevara, and Eternal Repose for the Souls of Ang Chuan Chowa, Agnes Revilla Bancaray, Clarita V. Quezon, and Benedicta Ong. We pray. Lord, Lord help us Lord, follow Lord. you. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, Lord help us Lord. follow you. Lord Jesus, faithfulness to your ideals may set us on a collision course with those who uphold principles that run counter to yours. Give us the courage we need to imitate your faithfulness and thereby share your glory forever and ever. Amen. This our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divine and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that uh, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, and all the clergy and our viewers in this Mass, and uh, those of uh, those in uh, live streaming. Remember also of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him, in him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. And so now, let us uh, pray the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, before we offer to one another uh, the sign of peace, let us pray at this uh, uh, point of our Mass for peace in the world, uh, peace and uh, the end of uh, fighting in Ukraine. And uh, we also include peace in our country that uh, we were, we really truly mean it to have peace and unity with the good of our country, with the good of our uh, economy. And finally, let us pray for peace in uh, our families, that there be love, or caring, and forgiving if we have wronged one another. So now, let us uh, offer to one another the sign of peace and reconciliation. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you also. Behold the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who gives himself as our spiritual nourishment. Happy are we who are invited to partake of this heavenly banquet. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only to say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Uracho Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Rocky, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calongso, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Prinadimes, pray for us. Holy Family, pray for us. Prayer for the unity of the family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pitiness far from them and their occasional failures instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in the children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and after through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us pray. Make partakers of Christ through these sacraments we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that confirm to his image on earth we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please uh, be seated uh, for <clears throat> some acknowledgement and announcements. So, dear brothers and sisters, uh, I would like to thank um, the uh, Rector of Christ the King Mission Seminary, that's Father Pablito Tagura, SBD. Then, uh, I'd like to thank also our uh, uh, commentator, the uh, seminarian Jerry Lau Ong. Okay, uh, Jerry. Oh. Mm. And uh, lecturer and server, uh, Father Fernando Cabilan Jr., FMM, over here. So, uh, <clears throat> so, a special thanks to our sponsors, 
donors and benefactors. And also to our televiewers, uh, please uh, uh, continue to help us and also to uh, uh, um, donate also some uh, for our love offerings and intentions. And then um, every Wednesday, or rather Thursday, I uh, uh, officiate the uh, St. Jude Tadeus Novena Mass uh, at 6 in the evening. It is a uh, live streaming at the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word YouTube channel. And then I would like also uh, to ask for uh, help for our uh, seminarians who have just uh, uh, came home to uh, uh, begin with the uh, uh, class uh, with the uh, with their school year 22-23. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, sana mo matulungan natin ang ating mga seminarians, especially those who are in need of help. Um, because especially with the pandemic and especially with the uh, economic crisis, if you donate, uh, you may uh, send through my uh, account number zero 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 two two zero zero five one six two three and account name is my name father Isabelo San Luis and if you have any uh, uh, query uh, you may email me at bell svd at gmail dot com now, we also ask for help uh, by um, um, giving us um, love offerings and intentions. And if you have thanksgiving intentions, healing, good health, financial uh, help and recoveries, and blessings, uh, you may email uh, mcfisvd at gmail.com. Contact person for the TV Mass and Adopt a Seminarian, Brian DeGito over here. Uh, and uh, the, you can uh, call 0961-811-8789. Six, six. Now, finally, my dear uh, brothers and sisters, you're invited to our sanctuary here uh, of the Divine Word. And this sanctuary is a place for peace, it's a place for reflection, it's a place for prayer. Dito po ang likod ng aming Christ the King Seminary. Uh, this sanctuary is located. You're all welcome to uh, make a visit uh, anytime, uh, any day, but not at night. Oh. So uh, again, uh, welcome and please come and visit our sanctuary. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord guide you always and make uh, choices that uh, are according to His will. Amen. Amen. May the Lord give you the strength that you need to live by the right choices you have made. Amen. May the Lord reward with ever greater blessings your persevering in doing good. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.
This Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.